Hello everyone, it's another exciting YouTube video from i80386SX and this particular video I'm going to wrap up a couple of subjects that I recently talked about or uploaded. As you can see there is a terminal server client and this is the same computer that I also used to make a dial-up server with or used this laptop to be a dial-up client to a dial-up server I made. Both of those videos were recently uploaded. The reason why I decided to do all that is I, mostly recreational, but wanted to give an idea of what remote work was like in the late 90s. In the late 90s, DSL wasn't really a thing unless you were really rich. So your next, next best thing was dial-up and a lot of households didn't even have that. But if you were lucky enough, you had these things. But how does it actually fare in the grand scheme of things? So let's, uh, now that I have everything ready here, and I am on a tripod this time because who am I kidding? My uh, ability to hold a phone, not so great. See if I can, however, try to connect the mouse to this thing. As I... yeah, perfect. So, first thing is first, we'll need to dial into our fake dial up server. And we are now connected. I don't know how good your eyes are, but it is at a whopping 31.2 kilobits. So now I already have my terminal server client loaded to go into my NT terminal server. I couldn't actually get it to uh, work over the newer way, if you want to call it, the opening your ports and trying to go through it with a public IP. There may be something I'm missing. I don't really care enough to troubleshoot it. So. I did the next best thing is that with this fake dial-up server it actually does walk me into a perfect situation so we're on our dial-up and I will flip the screen no other wires outside of a phone line connected no wireless cards connected I guess the software way to do this we can hit up our network connections and you can see the only thing that is connected is the dial-up local area connection unplugged so without delay let's give this thing a whirl and one other thing I'm gonna do so I don't get in the way of the camera is I'm gonna connect the keyboard That is, if I can connect it correctly. Classic Apple keyboard. It was handy. Now it loaded okay. I think it's still loading the drivers for that, so. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now oh, we got a keyboard. As you can kind of tell, it's already struggling with that. Basically, the idea of terminal services at the time was that you weren't actually sending your work over the wire, only screenshots. So, first thing we're going to do, I installed a Office XP or Office 2002 on this terminal services session. 
So I'm gonna try and type in a sentence. and it eventually loads. just by judging from that this is workable it is a little bit slow on the uptake and as you can tell my typing skills are not great but it does keep up and just for giggles we'll save it I don't know where we save it, but we'll save it. And boom, that is saved. I don't know how big a Word document is on N... I was going to say NT4, but Office XP... I gotta think about this. I don't even know whether my documents folder would be in NT4. But I am taking a stab at it here, and I think I found our answer. So that document is 23 and a half kilobytes. That would take a few seconds. To download from the wire if we really wanted to we could browse to this although it's not ideal I don't even know if this is going to work but I am going to give it the old college try And it may not work. But the other thing I wanted to try and do over this, you saw that I installed Visual Studio 6.0. I'm going to see if I remember remotely anything at all from my college days, even though I used uh, Visual Studio.net, not version 6. It would technically be version 7, would be .net, if I remember my history correctly. Taking its sweet time. I'm not sure if we're waiting on a... Try it again. Maybe I didn't click on something. We are so spoiled today. Not even seeing it trying to load. Oh, hold on here. I want to see, I'm going to go over to my server and see if 
if I can load it directly from the server, if we gotta do something on it. Yeah, it loads right directly on the server without an issue. Let's see if I can log off here. Oh, cannot quit. That'll simplify things or make things worse, but we'll give that a go. Yeah, that just does not want to load over my terminal ser services session. Try C++ and see if that loads. Yeah, C++ loads right away. And I have never used this program in my entire life, so this is going to be real fun. So let's make a new project, or whatever they call them. We'll call it a Win32 application. I don't know if it's a... Okay, even... Even C++ doesn't think I'm uh, funny here. Let's do that. Cool. Well, I was waiting for a design view, but Let's see what it does. I don't know if it's going to do anything. And there it is. So, I know we did no programming of really any kind here. Oh, what's this? I gotta figure out how to like to. put this in some kind of design view, but that may not be possible, or I just don't know where it is. Eh, I don't know. It may not be giving us a design view for whatever reason. Maybe because it's already done the work. I'm not sure. But, anywho. I'm clicking around. It's working just fine. Really like to get that design view, but maybe that's just not going to be an option here, but... I'm clicking around, it is reacting relatively snappy. Let's make sure there isn't any other rogue copies of this open. Provided it's going to let me right click on anything, and it doesn't look like it's going to. But you can get, get an idea of how well this works or doesn't work, depending on what way you want to look at it. 
This one's gonna bother me. Shortcut. Oh, okay. Now it looks like this is gonna try and load. So, all right, we'll play around a little bit in Visual Studio. Now you can tell we're on a 56k connections. It is going slower than molasses and well, right now February it is uh, technically accurate right now. At the time of recording, this is a whopping one degree out, and it's supposed to get down to negative 13. Wind chill of 38 below. So yes, it's slower than molasses and now. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that joke. It's going very slow now. I'm gonna make a standard EXE. That's more like what I ex was expecting. And I know I'm going to be breaking all sorts of uh, rules here with this. Oh, Jesus. Uh, let's see what else we can do with this. for the font size on this. I'd like to make it a little bit bigger than that uh, magnifying glass size, but hey, this is where I gotta go. Let's make this nice and big. That's more like it. And I'm not going to, I'm not fancy, so I'm just going to shrink this down. I don't know if we can insert a picture in this just for giggles. Picture box. Let's see, picture none. Let's see. Okay. Now we gotta find a picture. I wonder what this is. We get to see opening a, a photo in a terminal services client and okay that's the windows nt terminal services logo good enough for me i don't care that it looks pretty let's save it and i know we're breaking all sorts of programming rules by not labeling or commenting anything i don't know what a source code is but Ah, we're going to forget that. I don't have a username for that. But what I will do, just to pretend that we are going to be commenting things properly, I think that should get me to... Uh, maybe. Maybe.
Let's try. Ah, good enough. Now my caps lock is on. <gasps> nope. Shit. <sighs> Pardon my French. I think that's how you make a comment in Visual Basic, and it did. I'm not sure if you can tell from the screen, but that did turn green, so that is commented out properly. Our next thing I want to do is uh, build this application. Just gotta figure out how to do that. We'll see what the start does. We'll at least make sure the program does work. And load my photo. Wonderful. Let's compile our little disaster. There we go. Now if we can just go on the desktop of this machine, I don't really care about it beyond uh, testing and recreational purposes, so let's do it. I don't know if it's doing anything of spectacular. Well, it did put something on the desktop, so let's open it up. And there you go. It's not pretty, but it works. And I don't know if I can expand this or not. If it gets any less ugly. And no, it doesn't. Oh, well. So, I mean, it's kind of workable. I did check the box for low con low speed connection which in the days of Windows NT that's almost certainly dial up DSL is only an ISDN connections anything beyond dial up was saved for the latest and greatest so that's pretty much going to be it for this video so let me close out my application I wouldn't personally recommend this for long-term use but it does the job if you have to do it i wish the modern day rds was this simple but unfortunately there's a lot more color involved and to exit at the end of the day there's a handful of things you can do you can log off and close the session completely if you disconnect that's the equivalent of pressing the x and it'll leave the session in a disconnected state, but if you had programs open, all those programs would be there. NT security is the equivalent of a control alt delete, as you can tell, and that is taking a real long time. Okay, there we go. You can lock the workstation, shut it down. If you're an administrator, this I believe is grayed out. You can change your password, task manager, or cancel. I'm gonna log out because I am done. That's going to pretty much conclude this video. Kind of tie some things together. You get to see what, if work from home was really a thing in the late 90s, that's what it kind of would have looked like and if you implemented a Microsoft solution. So, with that in mind, if you have any questions, comments, or constructive criticism, please put them in the comment section. And thank you again for watching another wonderful vintage computer video.
not even giving me a time yet. Okay, now we have a time. And I don't want to do anything else until this is done. You really don't want to with dial up, even with the best dial up, which is not saying much. I think it's safe to say we have went far beyond our 15 second allotment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I know everything went blurry in the background when I did that. But as you can tell, we went way over our 15 seconds. There. We are now double over 15 seconds, and that was only since I started the timer. I know there's still a handful of applications that only need dial-up to work, but holy cow, this is ridiculous to transfer a file over it. In theory, the server is violating a COVID protocol because it's closer than six feet away, so go figure that one out. If a server could catch COVID, it would be at risk right now. Two minutes. So it said 15 seconds ago, well over 15 seconds ago. Now we're down to five. I imagine if we plugged in a Windows 95 or 98 laptop, it, that progress bar might have a little bit more truth to it, but I don't have that handy right now, so we'll stick with the XP machine here. The old reliable Compaq Evo. Slowest five seconds of our lives. Oh, wow. 
why it keeps shutting off. Okay, so that took three and a half minutes. That's from the time I started the timer. It probably is closer to five minutes. Let's see if it's actually over there now. Let's uncheck that, see what that does. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but... Looks like it does take a little bit longer when we do it this way. This is a product. Here we go. Let's have to read the drives. And even when that low speed connection box wasn't checked, this seems like it's okay. Our file is there. I unfortunately can't open it because I don't have a WinZip program or any other. Uh, way to deal with this so this is where the video is going to end for real this time uh, so same drill questions comments constructive criticism throw them in the comment section and i will respond accordingly